Currently, this will be in this version. Um, I can't actually see the camera, but I can get as close as I can. Um, so I'm going to start off with the Thunder Mage. This is, so, some of these are going to be, those three that I already converted into card stack, which I'll have to redo again. I'm right here, so I have the Thunder Mage. It is in the Electric of the Mage class, which classes will be changed to be, like, Rarity instead. This is the Thunder Mage. At any point, you may take away 50 armor and add 50 health. It is a, a strength of 50 and an armor of 150. Next we have, oh, whoops, I have to turn that over. Thunderboxer, the original card. For one turn, you can add, so you can either add 50 strength or 50 armor. It has 100, 100 stats, so 100 strength, 100 armor, if you don't understand what that means, Pokemon language. Um, electrified Pastor, take away 50 armor to add 50 strength to a teammate. has 100, 100 strength and 150 armor. The Lightning Archer, um, for one turn, all lightning element, sorry, all lightning elements get a 50-50 boost, which means 50 strength, 50 attack. So this card goes to 200 strength and 100 attack for one turn. Oh, this is all lightning element. Yeah, I'm going to change that to elements. Um, so we're doing attack cards first, if you didn't, didn't tell, couldn't tell. Um, hold on, let me read this because I can't find it hard to read it. Oh, uh, discard a power up. So, power up cards are a thing in this game, so I'm gonna have to say power up card and any pencil markings I make will be changed. So, this is the Flaming Mage. Sorry, Fire Mage. Um, discard a power up. And has 100 strength and 150 armor. Flaming Warrior. Um, revive one attack card. If you pay an additional token. If you pay the token cost. So you can revive a. Sirens going out outside. Um, revive one attack card. Hold on. Revive one attack card if you pay the token cost. 150 strength and 100 armor. So what that means is, let's say my Thunder Mage dies. It has one token cost. Um, and I have this on the field. I can pay the one token cost and it is back into play. Makes it so that way you don't have permanently down cards. And I think I have a doggy outside. Yep. Hey, boo boo. Hi. Can you say welcome? Hey. No. Okay. I'll be back. Anyways, um, I have the Flaming Archer. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah. Okay. Flaming Archer, discard one instant card. So, instants, we'll talk about that later. Um, which actually should be, the attack card should be on the screen. Um, it has a strength of 100 and an armor of 150 for the archer. Pyropaster, switch this card's stats with one of your opponent's card stats. Strength 100, armor 150. So it doesn't have terrible stats, but it has semi-bad stats. So since that was the entire way through the attack cards, I will do a face kind of cam thing, then return it back to this stage, just so that way I can put down power-ups if you want to just read those. Fast forward in the clips, and actually the timestamps down below in the video. <laughs> um, so, those are the attack cards, and I'll get I'll be right back. Hi, guys. Uh, this is just so I can... There we go. Yay, power-ups. Also, the rarities will definitely change. Don't trust the rarities. Actually, just, um, yeah, don't worry. Bear right. right back to the review. I look like a weirdo and an idiot doing that, but I really don't care. Okay, Blinding Light. For two turns, 
um, negate all negative effects. For example, taking away your strength or armor. Revi Revization gem. Um, revive one card on your side of the field. Just it's just a free revive. Think of it as a free life. But it's instantly it gets discarded after it's used. Stone Labyrinth. For one turn, one of your opponent's cards is unable to attack. Electron. For three turns, one of your one of your opponent's cards are weakened 50-50. So that means minus 50 attack, minus 50 armor. Sorry, minus 50 strength, minus 50 armor. Darkner. Your opponent's your opponent loses all positive effects for two turns. So that means um, since Electron does a negative effect to you, um, and it'd be a positive effect for them, you pretty much just skip two turns of that. And then you just totally skip the Stone Labyrinth. So it's a little bit... Yeah, it's pretty much just brightener for you. But um, that means... Just, so, so like, let's say... But it also works as if they get a strength boost that strength boost goes away for two turns so that's pretty nice token um what was I gonna say? okay destroy one of your attack cards but you get the token amount sorry you get the amount of tokens it took to play so for example you for the thunder mage you could sacrifice you could use the token um you could use the token power up get rid of it, and you get a token. You just get a token. So, basically, you get two tokens that turn, and it just went under the laptop. Anyways. Bright light gain one positive effect. It says random, but I'm not gonna do random for the card game. I'm gonna decide a positive effect. Let's just say for this video, instead of random positive effect, it you switch positive effects with your opponent. Yeah, that's what I'll make it. Switch positive effects with your opponent. I'm going to have to write that down. Actually, uh, after this, I'll do that. So let me... Power up. Um, gain 50 strength and 50 armor, but you lose two turns. Power gem. So it's... It's balanced, I'd say. So, um, let me just get an example. This is the favorite one I use. Thunder Mages. Power gems. Thunder Mages. It just makes sense to me. So I'd be able to have 100 strength and 200 armor, but for two turns I wouldn't be able to attack. I can still use my abilities, I can still use power-ups, I just wouldn't be able to attack. So, easy example I use. So now we're done with that. Um, next up is instance. So, and I'll go into the rule book later. Hi guys, I'm back. And then bright light. Just drawing it like that. Note, change, description, and remake to switch the positive effects of your opponent. Switch the positive effects. So that means if your opponent has a boost in their strength or something, for example, let's say they have the power gem uh, for one turn. Um, actually, for one turn. So that means for one turn, you would have that boost without the negative part of it. So, like, you'd be able to attack right away. Pretty OP, kind of, because it's only one turn. Uh, I'll keep these in order. Uh, just looking at like the. Uh, I think I did add my token. I'm just gonna skip that. Yeah, anyways. Uh, let's, oh, wait, hold up. I gotta confirm that it's on. I did the right thing. There we go. There we go. This one will be a lot easier, and I'll explain what all these mean later. Back to the boat. Hi guys, back to review. Um, studded shield. You take no damage. So, let me just explain instance. You instantly discard them, and the effects are played 
for that one turn. So for that one turn, you take no damage. I'm going to do that in the remake, but that's kind of an obvious one. So I don't have to write that one. So. Trade. In exchange for uh, you paying the token value of one of your opponent's cards, you discard it. So that means, so your opponent had a, a Thunder Mage and you had one token, you'd be able to discard it by paying that one token. If you have the instant card trade. Stone Saber. For one, sorry, for one turn, one of your opponents, one of your card gains 50 more attacks. So that means like it's holding the sword, so you gain 50 attack. Exactly as it says. Um, but Blinding Light will make it so that your your opponent gets that. If they played it. Okay, um, uh, so I actually made two instants, instant remakes, uh, for three turns, one of your opponent's cards has 50 armor taken away. So this is Electra Strike, so it loses 50 armor, exactly as it states. Um, Flaming Sword, half the damage is dealt this turn, or half your opponent's strength is dealt. So basically, um, actually I'm going to change that, make it so that it lowers your opponent's strength by 50. So your, the Thunder Mage would be just like a meat shield or like a human shield for one turn. Or for that one turn, it wouldn't do any damage. So it wouldn't be a shield, it just wouldn't do any damage. Torch, um, discard, sorry, discard Darkener, which is one of the instants. And then this one is discard Bright Light. So if you have both of these, you could discard the negative and positive effects your opponent would gain. Sorry. Negative effects your opponent would lose, positive effects your opponent would gain. Um, and then reflection, half of the armor damage. Hold up. Okay. I had to do something. Okay. Half the damage of damage dealt. the armor damage you oh I can't even read reflection I think it just if not I'm just gonna change it um because it's a simple change half the damage
this is awkward. Anyways, I wanted to show you the two new background designs, and that's the reason why I'm actually going to be remaking um, the Thunder Mage again. So it'll go into three remakes. Uh, oh. Alright, anyways. Uh, fade up and fade down. So basically, as it goes down, the colors get brighter, or as it goes up, the colors get brighter. So the one that I'm chosen is fade up. It's going to really impact it. I really like that idea of this change. So that's what I was trying to explain in the last video. And what I was trying to explain in this video is um, with the tokens needed thing, there will be more. Eventually, I'm going to make it so that it's two tokens. Or I, Okay, so the maximum I'm going to go for this one is two. Then in set two, which I'm planning on calling um, Metro Wars set two, then I had um, a new discovery where you'll this you'll be able to do um, for example you'll be able to notice that there is um, uh, like there's now level zeros for example the mystic shield is what I've been thinking of and the mystic shield um, oh, so it has zero attack or zero strength but uh, I think it was going to be 50 um, armor. So it's really, it's literally just to defend you for a little bit. No, hold up. Since the Mystic Shield, actually, how about we make it 200 to really um, defend you, but not really to attack or deal a deadly blow. It is literally a Mystic Shield. So yeah, so th this is the Game Crafter, if you walk if you do any, or if you look at any um, card creating content, not even just card, board game content, that is being sold to the viewer, that is customly made, this is where it happens. This is where most of it happens, at least. So Venture Wars, the beginning, is a, it says poker deck, but that means that's their example of a Pokemon deck, or something like that. Uh, so actually, I have UV Protection. Hey guys. Um, so it has UV protection, which means you'd be able to draw on them if you wish. I wouldn't recommend it still, and that way um, you can wipe things off and it wouldn't do anything. So these are actually going to be the class names, aka, um, sorry about that guys, but um, so deck includes random cards, so I'll choose random cards of like th the one I'm putting on there currently. I'm still working on putting on there is the Thunder Boxer. So I'd crop the image, make it larger so that it could fit those measurements. Um, but um, it'll be it'll be under class name basic. So all the level ones will be under basic. Level sorry, uh, token cost zero to one will be basics. Adventurers will be sorry. Ad all two will be adventurers. Master will be um, master will be um, master would be three. And you know, for set one, most of them are going to be commons. There will be basically um, only a couple masters, a um, couple adventurers and mostly basics. So, like I said, for set one, there will be adventurers and basics for that. And then for power-ups and instants, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm actually just going to do the wheel decide. Um, put them according to that. I'll do that on my own time. I won't record it. 